Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Billy Gearhart. And welcome to the Geek Group. This is the latest in our series on how to build a Tesla coil, which we're doing, you know, the... It, been it a was, while. It has. It's been four months. I checked today um, because I wanted to refresh where we were and everything. I watched the latest episode. It posted December 15th. And mm -hmm. today is Saturday, April 16th. So it's like the next year and everything. It's been a while since we got to do anything. Yeah, I've been at school. And we had a lab to build, so it took a while. And we're still very much building a lab. And we've got the Echo in here, which is great. I, I can't get the <laughs> Echo. So we got to fix that, which is why Oralex should become a sponsor. <laughs> but I wanted to take some time and get back into this, because we've had a lot of, you get a lot of fan mail. You get a lot of fan mail. Apparently, the girls think you're amazing. You're like stupid, crazy cute. So yeah. So you get a lot of fan mail, and people have been writing in going, when are we going to start this up again? Well, as soon as we could, which is we had a bench and cameras and you know stuff, we're back to doing it. Now, the trick is we have to intentionally handicap ourselves a bit because the idea behind this series is that we're building a Tesla coil that people can build with stuff from home. Mm -hmm. So it's hardware store stuff. It's not big industrial. You know, we can't break out the big CNC gear or stuff like that. I'm going to allow that we can use any of the basic hand tools and that from the workshop. But we're still doing this just like we always have been because the idea is that other kids your age can build this. Yep. That's what we're going for. So it starts by cleaning it. So here. Not, not too much. When you're doing high voltage stuff, here, go nuts. Um, as a rule, you want to keep things relatively dry. Ah, uh, good point. See, if you keep turning it, we'll keep it from getting gungy on the bottom. Now, um, when you're, you're cleaning electronics and high voltage stuff, the system I always use is don't spray the cleaner on the thing, spray the cleaner on the towel and uh, then wipe yeah. the thing. Like electronics. Yeah. Because oddly enough, this stuff doesn't play well with water. I wonder why. Yeah, it's funny like that. So we get this all really clean. Now, the best thing to use for this would be um, alcohol. And not like rubbing alcohol, but like you can get plain old denatured alcohol in the, the half gallon metal container. Yep. Um, all the big box stores sell it. You can get it at like Walmart or something. Hey, Billy. Like, hmm. Listen. Oh, no. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, that's what I was trying to shut. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just you're, be happy this isn't so. I'm wearing electrically insulated boots, though, so. I have a limit. Electrically insulated boots. Yes, they're. Which is to say, they're rubber on the bottom. That thick. That thick, and you're still that short. We get you some platforms. We gotta get you the ones with the fish. So you, you ever see those? We get you. We, you get them with all that in the back. Okay, those are you've got damn manly boots. We're proud of you. Well, I just know that I can't get you. I've, you know. You can still get electrocuted. Yes, people have tried to shock me. People have tried to shock me, but they have failed miserably. Mr. Okay, Fetch. well then, you know, we'll, we'll take odds on how good we can electrocute you. Now I got this, which is, I tossed the box away, I don't know where the box went, but it's carpet tape. Um, it's, it's really, it's good stuff, we'll show it here on the overhead. It's carpet tape. And it's double-sided sticky tape. Really? Yeah, well we need double-sided tape, because that's how we're going to hold it down here. You can do it without the tape, but it's a bit of a pain. So we've got that, and we've got our wire that I had to magically, you know, take care of. Yes, thank you for giving it a haircut. Um, now, what would be really cool is if we had, we need a way to hold the wire for a long time. We need like, oh, you know it'll work great? Well, I'm not sure it'll work great, but I think it'll work great. Dave, could you wander into uh, Studio D, and you know the light stands we've got? Grab one of those, the smallest one you can oh, find. Oh, come on. Thank you. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our setup here with just a holder of some sort. You can do it with a friend with a screwdriver. We're doing it with a, a light stand, but you just need something to hold it so it can unspool. Now we've got our double-sided sticky tape. This is carpet tape. And you can just run straight lines down and that'll work. I'm gonna try and be a little fancy and see if I can get away with this. But I'm gonna run it helically. Oh no, this is, you don't wanna overlap it and get it, you know, and even. I'm gonna try. I, I, it can be done. Oh, we have to peel just, off the double-sided stuff. I'm just going to go nice and easy. You have to peel off the top of it to get to the sticky. Yeah, yeah. Because I figure this is a helical wind, so I should do the tape yeah. helically as well. Hang on, just give me nice good tension on it. 
And we'll just let the tape lay in where the tape wants to be. Like that. Oh, hang on. Let's get right in there. Okay, watch out. All right, now, hang on. Hold the tape, but don't move. Don't move. Because we want to cut this. Here, we'll just cut it off right about here. Okay, and then we'll take this and lay it right in. Because we want to, we want to be pretty close. So we'll just bring it right up like that. And then we'll cut it right up here. Like that. Uh, I don't think we cut all the way through. You gotta cut it right there. It's a little manky. Okay. Now we got that off. Now rub it down. Get all the creases out? Yep, rub all the wrinkles out. I got some big ones here. Don't worry about the little hair thin creases like that um, because Anything smaller than a dime will outgas on its own in a few days. It's one of those things I learned with the vinyl stick-on letters. All right, so there's our helical tape. Now we've got one winding of tape. I'm going to push my luck. We've got that one there. I'm going to start another one right here on the same angle. So hold it rigidly right there because I've got the other one perfectly on the bottom. Well, let's see if we can get away with this. I don't know if we can, but I'm going to try. And I'm going to try and match our, our uh, angle as close as I can. You want me to give you like, a lot of tension? And I've learned if you pull on this really hard with the tape, that it won't really stretch much. But you see how the second time I'm doing this, I'm getting a lot fewer bubbles and creases. Yeah. We can get a tape rolling machine. I think I'm about to hit my other piece of tape. Yep. So we'll, we'll go as right close there. as we can. can try to and then we'll stop. Okay, hold that. I'm going to go to my scissors. Okay, so we peel off the back of our double sided sticky tape. That's how it works. <laughs> okay, now don't touch it with your fingers because it'll suck the dirt right off you. And you are a filthy, filthy kid. You're a horrible person. Look at you. Look at you. Covered in garbage. Okay, now, this is the hard part. This is the tedious part. It's about our generators do have. Now, which way do we need to wind it? Probably this you way. You want to go that way, this way? Yeah, this okay. way. Now, first thing, don't drill any holes in your thing to start. Just don't. If we drill a hole in the end cap, we're going to have to replace it. Because this thing will shoot arcs when it's done that far. So it will very happily shoot arcs down the inside of the ground. And short itself. Yep, and that would be bad. So we're going to just lay this on here, and I'm going to pull Do you a want like a feet. pulley mechanism or something? I, I want a pulley mechanism and a motor in that, but that's not going to happen today, so we're going to do the best we can with what we got. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to give us an end. Um, hold that right there. Hold, hold a little tension on it, mm -hmm. okay, so that that doesn't go loose. I'm going to give us a couple feet off the bottom. I'm going to grab the packing tape. We had packing tape. Here's the packing tape. Okay, hold it. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to grab the packing tape. Ah, uh, right, right here, or? You're fine. You're okay. totally cool right there. So I grab us a piece of packing tape. Pull that right around in there. Okay. I'll hold this and Run the tape under it. And then tape that right to it. Just like they can't that. see on the top camera. I'm pretty sure they know what it looks like to put a piece of tape on. And if they can't, well, then they'll see it later when we do the thing. But that's just a piece of tape to hold that there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the hardest part with winding a secondary is getting everything started. Once you get it going, it's not so bad. But we're just going to close wind the whole thing. So I'm going to hold no tension gaps on whatsoever. here. No gaps at all. If you put a gap in, that's called space winding. I hate what we're doing this. is close winding. Now touch only uh, the cap on the uh, end. 
Touch yeah, I just see. Yeah, just see because you're doing fingerprints. Now, I'll do the first shift on thumb tension, and you're just going to turn that nice and easy. And I'm going to ride a fingernail down against it, and we'll show people what that looks like. Um, maybe Red can zoom in on my hand. And you can see you just you put a fingernail against it, and your thumb on the other side. You can go way faster than that. Um, and this is just you wear a groove in your thumb. This is how it's done. Feel bad for Nikola Tesla. He did this with cloth insulated wire. Oh my gosh. He also did this with much bigger wire oh. than what we're using. Now they the trick is easy. to just have them nice and even. Now I'm gonna come up a little bit. We've got a good winding stride, so I'm gonna come up just a hair. Keep going. Because uh -huh. I wanna I wanna have it straight. There we go. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I jumped when I moved my hand. Yeah. All right. Keep go. Me. Don't don't touch the main thing. Yeah, it gets stuck to me. All right, this is going to take a minute. We'll be back. All right, we're back. And wow, was that a thrilling half hour. Um, so we've got that done. Now we're all the way to the other end, and what I'm going to do is just put a piece of tape here. Now this is a temporary thing. This is just to hold the wire on there, but these temporary things like this have a fantastic habit of becoming permanent. So we're just going to bring that wire over. Now you hold the tension there. Come right on over. It doesn't have to be pretty. Roll right on over. Batman, hang on. Okay, Billy. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going, Billy. Stop. Okay. And at that point, we have now successfully wound a secondary coil. So when we come back, in our next video, because we have to do a whole different setup for this, we're going to teach people how to code it. And we have to decide which system we want to use to code it, if we want to go with tape, because you can use that, or if we want to go with um, epoxy. like an epoxy or a paint, like a glyptol type coating kind of thing. Tape would be easier, but um, I think it's self-explanatory, so yeah. let's go with the epoxy. Well, there's also the saran wrap, which some guys use. So okay. I think both of those are pretty, we'll, we'll, we've got a number of secondaries, so we'll build a few and we'll teach people with each, but I think for the first one, we should try and go with a paint system if we can. Oh, that feels nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's really You can cool. feel the rivets of where the Now, is. before people start commenting about the gap here, we put the gap there on purpose because we're going to unwind below there. Um, this will be where the top load goes on this end. So, yeah, I think, or actually a top load will go on this end. This will be where the primary coil farm goes, because so, we're going to want a little gap down there. So we're done. We now, and now it looks like a Tesla coil, so we've got that going for us. Um, let's take a minute, and we're going to just put this on here gently. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Mess that up a little. I want to put this on here gently, and then just use a little piece of tape to hold it in position. Hold that. Give me a finger right there. You find the tape? This, they've got to make it easier method. I got it. Okay, give me about a two-inch piece of tape. Thank you. Ah. All right, now I'm going to flag the tape. Do you want to do the same with this side? Yeah. I'm going to flag the tape so we can get that off later. Come on, you're getting that sorted out. I'll find the end of the tape. You know, we got a million dollars worth of tools, and we end up with a $3 tape dispenser. How annoying is that? Really? Three dollars, tape dispenser. How hard can it be? Okay. 
You good? I'm yep. good. Is that tight? Yes, it is. Okay. And then I'll flag this piece of tape. You fold it over like that so you can find the end. You just pop it up. All right. We have a secondary. It's a lot heavier now, too. Look how much inertia that has. <laughs> <laughs> like crap. Okay. It's a lot heavier now. There's a lot of copper on there. Now, we did that all. Now, where's our coil of wire? Let's show people how much we have left. Batman. Batman. What? What'd you do, Batman? That's a lot of money. What'd you, what'd you do? Look at that. Look at how much is left. See, we still have plenty of wire. That I'm going to use for my pull pig. Or our, not pull pig arc welder. Our next. No, you're not going to use this for a pull pig arc welder. We're going to use this for our next several t secondary coils. But look at that. There's still yeah. like eight pounds. Easy. Yeah. So, see, we got plenty. All right. So, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Billy Gearhart. And we want to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And tune in for the next one in the series where we will be coating this coil with our insulative protective candy coating layer. So, you guys have fun. We'll see you next time. Bye. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.